hello students today we will learn that what is the concept of caster angle in an automobile okay by the help of easy to understand lecture easy to understand theory we will learn that what is its purpose and what exactly it is okay so by the help of a small example daily life example i will like to start that when we ride a motorcycle with a good speed sometimes we leave the hands from the handle bar for a short while in case you don't try it because it can lead to accident but for a short while in case we are leaving our hands still the motorcycle does not wanders and maintains its straight line motion okay you know how this happens due to by the help of an optimized caster angle an optimized caster angle is responsible for that due to this caster angle only even though we have uh, released our hands from the handlebar still the vehicle the motorcycle is maintaining its straight line motion so how it happens let's learn that see you would have noticed that this is the wheel of a motorcycle and this is the shock absorber you can see so this shock absorber in, in case we are drawing a vertical line this wheel is touching the road at this point which is called as contact patch of the wheel contact patch of tire from there in case we are drawing a vertical line then this shock absorber is tilted a little okay that is what called as caster angle okay so actually over this part there is the handle bar so when we execute the turn by steering it uh, by steering the handle bar so actually the axis of turn is this the red line is showing the axis of turn okay so the angle made by the turning axis of the wheel with the vertical is what called as caster angle and you can see the turning axis and ultimately it is ending at this point this point is away from the contact patch you can see so how it uh, improves the straight line motion we will learn that now okay see uh, in case you take the bottom view of this wheel in case vehicle is advancing and from bottom you are having a look on this wheel then it is something like this okay this is the contact patch and this is the steering axis okay steering axis is ending at ending at this point so in case taking the bottom look then it is like this okay so actually when the wheel is advancing the motorcycle is advancing then friction is applied on this contact patch exactly in opposite direction wheel is advancing and suppose uh, in right hand side okay then friction is exactly in opposite direction okay now in this picture what you see suppose the wheel is wandered a little in anti clockwise direction you can see it has been wandered earlier you can see contact patch is just behind this steering axis now you can see this uh, wheel is wandered a little in anti clockwise direction about this steering axis okay spontaneously due to some disturbance now what happens that friction is still acting only on the contact patch so it will try to again turn this wheel and bring back in its straight orientation like this okay that friction is acting on this contact patch only so again it will try to turn it and again bring it back in uh, this orientation in which uh, the contact patch is just behind this steering axis and okay similarly in case the wheel is wandered a little in clockwise direction you can see spontaneously due to some disturbance due to some bump or any other disturbance okay so what happens still the automobile is moving in right hand side the friction is acting on this contact patch so again it will try to straighten up again it will try to turn it uh, about this steering axis and bring it back in its straight line orientation you can see okay so like this way the caster angle helps to maintain the straight line stability of the moving vehicle in case uh, this angle is not there then the straight line stability of the mo moving vehicle is reduced okay so hope by this small lecture you would have understood what is the concept of caster angle and how it improves the straight line stability of moving vehicle thank you